Hello there, welcome back to my show. If you're new, subscribe. If you're old, you'll die soon. All right there. Years ago, I'd done a, a, a master's degree in cultural studies. It was a bit of a blag, to be honest with you. I was smashed out of my brain and I left just about with a, um, a master's degree. Um, but one of the interesting things that happened on this uh, master's degree, they'd done a convention called Thinking Alien. And it was about thinking alien <laughs> and whatever that might have meant and you know people took different things from that it was kind of weird actually they I was asked if I'd chair a debate and I was so out of my depth it was untrue I went yeah yeah sure I'll do it yeah and they, they give me this paper with like the what the speakers were going to talk about and I was like no I'll be right I know what I'm doing and on the day I got there and there was about 100 people in my you know we're all in different locations and there was about 100 people there and I had these two two speakers, these two women, and one of them, uh, her her paper was entitled Nietzsche's Desert Thought, and she gave this whole explanation about the metaphor of the desert, or, or the symbol of the desert, or the analogy, or the allegory. <laughs> so I didn't know about it then, I don't know about it now. But she she delivered this whole talk, and then when she finished, they. <laughs> And then, of course, everyone's looking to me. And I remember I picked up my little plastic cup and I'm nah. <laughs> tried to look really relaxed. Yeah, I'm just having a gentle drink. It's like comedians or anyone who gets on stage will tell you, don't hold a piece of paper because however confident you are, it's flapping in the wind. The answer, my friend, is blowing. The truth, dear audience, is flapping in my hands. So... So I've gone for this water and they're all looking at me and I looked at her and I went, are there any deserts today? <laughs> and she just went, I don't know. <laughs> and then I went, okay, well, well, let's have a listen to the other talk. And then the other woman, the other one I got a little bit more, it was about prosthetic identity, about photo albums and storage devices and how we have this kind of prosthetic identity <laughs> so when I got to the end of that I was like yes and there are spastic metal arms too it was awful I remember walking out there thinking either I'm not meant to be here or I'm not meant to be here it was really weird however what was good there was this one talk in the thinking alien uh, convention where a man was talking about alien languages and how how representations of how aliens might speak. I mean, it's already crazy kind of human-centric to talk of speaking as a communic uh, communicative device, but how it's been badly not really explored, perhaps. Like, you know, a lot of alien languages, you know, look back at the 60s and 70s, the aliens come down, they're like, you must do what we say, you know, holding their nose together or a delay on it. Hello, 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 hello. This, 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 this. I mean, you know, you've only got to go back a few years to hear uh, aliens, you know, uh, visitors from other planets, etc. Speaking in English, but a bit metallic. And this bloke was saying, you know, for example, in English, we don't, we don't do anything with that. Fuck off. We don't go fuck off. No, it's f. But nothing, nothing is f. There's a cleaning wagon going past outside. I wish that would fuck off. But it's interesting, isn't it? We've got p, b, l, k, but no f. And so he, he was using all, he, what he'd done, he made a list of all the human um, sounds and uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. It wasn't the sounds or the mouth shapes or something, but he isolated them all. And the one, the, the alien language that he found was furthest away from the human tongue was an episode of Star Trek where Picard has to address some kind of alien in their own language and if he doesn't get it right they're going to kill him so the pressure's on and this uh, lecturer suggested that this was the most alien language uh, that has been represented so far in any culture I mean if you can think of one or if you've heard one stick it in the comments below I'll be glad to have a look but here it is this is Jean-Luc Picard, captain of the Enterprise. That's just English, obviously, but he'll get into it. Ah, klaxon, ris, blaj, blan, arnik, karnik. Ah, tresula. 
Trust us. Trust us. And there you go. Interesting stuff. Now, the reason I'm talking about alien languages, etc., etc., is because I found a few videos of glossolalia. Do you know what glossolalia is? Of course it is. It's speaking in tongues. I mentioned it in one of my other videos. What I find interesting about speaking in tongues is where, you know, it's not coming from God. It's not the Holy Spirit. Come on, let's be honest. Let's be serious. Let's be adults about this. Let's be contemporary and modern and enlightened about this. It's just humans talking bullshit. But they are having to get the sounds from somewhere. My friend and comedian Trevor Locke. We had a chat once, he was talking about his sound poetry, which made me laugh. I'd done seven years at art college, I had loads of that bullshit. And I just said to him, go on then, go and do it. And every time he'd done it, and every time I hear speaking in tongues, it's always strangely Middle Eastern. <laughs> it's, it's often a lot of sort of, I remember he was going, Ishtang, Kliklashna, Ishanu, Kapisha. You know, there's something kind of of this earth about it. Just not English, <laughs> just not European. Do you know what I mean? Ishping, Pascunia. So when you hear some of these tongues I've got for you, you you'll, you'll hear the words. Having said that, I haven't got these just to illustrate that. I've got these because they're freaks, they're weird, and they're entertaining. Here is a child. Now, children lend themselves to uh, a religion because they're good at make believe. It's quite simple. This girl here is walking around her church speaking in tongues. She's got a limited imagination though, so she keeps going ba 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 <laughs> like someone with a limited child's imagination with ba ba ba. What's interesting is halfway through her tongue, she's telling people they're going to get cars and uh, holidays and shit. So check her out, but listen out, listen out for a the sort of the strange, almost Yiddish kind of chikama sagatikanani and ba 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 ba. The recording's not that great. But it's worth a hear. Speak, child. Oh, come on. She's been going for about half a second and we had nine ba 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 bars. <laughs> They're laughing at her because it's bullshit. <laughs> Someone's really cracking. I'm just going to rewind it. Listen to the bloke in the background. He's absolutely cracking. I wonder if a non-believer let himself in for the day or the local prison had a day out or something. Check him out in the background. He's still laughing. Thank you for Mr. Mind that he'll just bless him and his family, but I'm going to shoot you. You know all the things he's believing in, but I'm going to shoot you. Not just miracle money, a new house in Jesus. Yeah, new house. Ba ba ba. Go ahead, pre. I know that the shakala, the shakali. Yeah, but I shot Kina, but I shot in Jesus' name. But I'm ba 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 ba. Oh, ba 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 ba. So there you go. That's her nonsense. Who have I got here? Oh, this is awesome. He's going to teach us how to do it. So he's going to give us instructions. Uh, and let's see. Let's see if we can do it. It begins in a command. Forbid not to speak with tongues. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 39 tells us to not forbid speaking in tongues. Right. Don't forbid speaking in tongues. That's the command. The act of faith is giving God the syllables and sounds. You may say, well, I'm just gib gibbering things and I'm just saying things and I'm just making it. Well, no, you're offering him syllables and sounds and you give him the noises. You give him the syllables and sounds and you're trusting that he's going to add his own meaning to it. I'll, I'll say it like this. <laughs> you give him the syllables and sounds. He'll add his own meaning. Is it necessary? Is that conversation worth having where half of the situation already knows the meaning? <laughs> It's like when you start your car. You no, it's not. Of course, you know about languages in the Bible, don't you? The Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel. The humans wanted to build a tower so they could get near to God. And they built the Tower of Babel. Unfortunately, they got a bit too near to God. So he thought, oh, no, man, this lot will be coming too clever, a bit too enlightened. So he bang and he, he cast them down with many different languages so that the earth would have many different languages so they wouldn't be able to communicate well and be clever and build a tower up to god nice one babel tower of babel continue to speak about starting the car you turn the key but the engine once the key is turned takes over i had a mate once he was uh 
we had a game at college where we used to try and make each other laugh, a kind of basic game. And uh, he went, he went. I got home from the pub the other night, put my key in the door, turned it, and it started. <laughs> so I'm driving me out down the motorway. <laughs> it was good. Tongues. You're going to find that when you open your mouth in faith and you start letting those syllables and sounds come out, that God is going to take over from a certain point and then wicked. I can't wait for this. You're going to sense a flow. It's like sense a flow. <laughs> Rinse it, rinse it, sense of flow. Like driving. When you first learn to drive, it's a little awkward. The turns are sharp. The braking is sharp. But oh, the car metaphor. Over time, it becomes this natural, fluid movement. That's what it's like praying in tongues. So to recap, right. number one. Right, these are the rules. One, overthinking. Number two, pride. Number three, fear. And number four is. Overthinking, pride, fear, blah, blah, blah. In action. You in faith now. Come on, let's believe. Let's, believe. let's ask God to fill you. Dear God, fill me, you fucker. Let's ask God to, to, to do this for you once and for all. But here's what... Come on, do it for me once and for all, ba ba ba. It's going to take. It's going to take you to stop overthinking it. Lay aside your pride. Stop worrying about how you're going to look. <sighs> stop being afraid that... Listen to the music. The rousing swell of potential. It's not God. Trust Him. Just trust God. And then you have to open your mouth. And as you make the sounds, you watch the Holy Spirit attach His meaning. And then you're going to... Fill the flow. Are you ready? Right. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for that one watching right now. I pray, Lord, that this gift be imparted to them. I pray in Jesus' name that the impartation of the Holy Spirit take place. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful gift with which we can communicate with you. And Father, I pray for that one watching that they receive now the evidence of speaking in tongues. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. Just begin to speak it out. Come on, there's something on your tongue. There's something welling up from within your spirit. You can feel it. Don't fight. Don't fight it. There's somebody you're, 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 you're fighting. It. You're overthinking. Lay it aside. Close your eyes. Just think of the countenance of Christ. Think of the face of Jesus. And let it bubble up. Let it flow. Somebody's getting it right now. Open your mouth. Let it. Let the sound come out. Let the sound be upon your tongue. Receive that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Don't pray words. Come on. How many Let it take back in a Some of you, I believe, are praying. It. Well, I think uh, we got somewhere. Let's have a look at these twits. <laughs> More lies. <laughs> Just mass hysteria. Just loads of children having a desperate time. How terrifying. How creepy for them. How scarred will they be? I hate religion. <laughs> Chinese, in Chinese, in Mandarin, Didi is Willy. Da Didi is Big Willy. <laughs> Check out what she's saying. Tell me something about myself. <laughs> yeah, Da Didi. <laughs> Cheap but funny. <laughs> Imagine being a Chinese person walking in there, there's loads of crying schoolgirls shouting out big willies. <laughs> Who's looking after these fools? Okay, last one, him. He's going to also help us out. His name's Pete Cabrera. Right? So here's what you do. <clears throat> it's so awesome. So awesome. So here's what I'm going to do. And you can do this. I'm not embarrassed. Oh, make your fucking mind up, pal. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not embarrassed. People are gonna see this video and laugh, you know? Damn right they are. You know what? I don't care, because you don't live with me. You don't have the relationship I have with God. You ain't. I haven't got the relationship you have with God. Fair play. Thank fuck. You seen what I've seen. You haven't seen what I've seen. You ain't been a 10 year crack addict. You ain't. I have been a 10 year crack addict, actually. You ain't tried to hang yourself three times. No, but I've hung other people several times. Okay, you ain't been stabbed. You ain't. I have been stabbed. You been shot. You I have. I've had three guns put in my mouth in the same week. I call it night, uh, week of the three guns. And I got stabbed three times in the same week. I call it week of the long blades. You ain't been run over. You ain't. I have been run over about 100 times. I ran over myself once. I ate out of trash cans. You I have ate out of trash cans. And I fed my girlfriend that one too, but didn't tell her. You ain't been homeless. I have been homeless. This ain't going too well, is it, tongster?
You ain't been losing everything because of what the devil's done. So when you see... Well, I have lost everything, but I don't know if it was the devil's fault. In fairness, it was mine. You mean, say, hey, I want to pray in tongues with you. And you say, remember this. Okay, remember this. I do this for the glory of God. <laughs> mad, mad defensive aggro, this bloke. Come on. That's why I do it. Because I want to set people free. Because I know what the other side looks like. I know what darkness feels like. The force is strong in this one. I know what it looks like. Yeah. And that's why I do this. I do this because it's real. Darkness is real. But the light is even greater. We're the light. We are what the darkness fears. <laughs> the devilish cackle of that. I wish the light did fear me. We're the children of light. We're the children of God. You can't fool the children of the revolution. They well got fooled though, didn't they? The children of the revolution. So, if you get offended by this, I'm okay with that. Really? I'm not, I'm not going to get offended by you speaking in tongues, Pete Cabrera Jr. Really? I'm okay with that. I've been Just get on with it. I've been hit with everything. 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 So I'm not even worried about it. So if this bothers you, I'm okay with that. Because I don't do this for you. I do this for those who want to grow. So really, I can care less. Hey, I'm 6'2", but I could do a couple more inches. I say I'm 6'2", but there's an additional 8 inches. I don't care less. You're going to have nays. <laughs> Did you see my eyes in? I didn't mean to go like that. <laughs> Serious anyway. And I'm I don't care if you're offended by what I've done then. No, I don't care. I don't do it for you. I do it for the children of the light. I'm all right with that, because I used to be one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Crack it up, mate. Crack it? Hmm. Crank it, perchance. I was a Southern Baptist youth... <sighs> Pastor didn't even believe in miracles. Was that tongues? And here I am teaching a school. <laughs> <laughs> teaching a school. <laughs> oh, anyways. Anyways. So here we go. You guys ready? So yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. We're all, everyone ready? Let's go. What are we going to do? Borrow my tongue. Borrow his. What? Ooh. Offer to kiss, I feel. Man, I bet he says that to the children in the congregation. Borrow my tongue. Just borrow my tongue. Just borrow it. You know, pause right here and, and write it down wherever the time's at. Right, do that. You can do that as well. Right, and I'm going to do this with you, okay? Okay. Usually I start out with Abba. Right? <laughs> A bit like ba ba ba. Right? Abba means father. You guys know that, right? Really? What, the band? I thought it meant Bjorn, Benny, Agatha, and I thought it was... Right, Abba. Abba. Abba's amazing. Abba. Abba. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll go slow. Okay, this is a training video. Training video, Adam. Have you checked out how much he's putting off doing this bullshit? <laughs> yeah, a little look around, make sure his wife weren't there. <laughs> Brand tongues. Okay. Right. Yeah. Brand tongues. Right. Ooh, strangely unlikable bloke. Nah, he's got a lovely smile though, and he look. Come on, who couldn't like that? <laughs> Abba. That's awesome. I can feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, it's just cold. I can feel the Holy Ghost. You're milking it, bro. Abba. Ghost in the house. <laughs> Holy Ghost in the house. My house haunted. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost in the house. Look, he. Oh, for Christ's sake. Sorry, you're ruining my video. Are you going to do this tongues or not? Derese. <laughs> just Islamic. Teresa, check him out. Que le masa. Que le masa. En de seque. En de seque. Now I'm going to predict what he might do next. Something like, Jesu case. De seque le le masata. <laughs> Not far off. Jesu canase. En berete. Chimarata. De se ele me seque. Capusilete. En beshete que le masa. Dirty vibrator. En berotusu kirini mata kala. Mama's tights at the bottom of the staracas. They used to have her pants rolled up in her dark tan tights at the bottom of the stairs. That's nothing. Fuck you. Fuck religion. Fuck everyone. Have you subscribed yet, you shithead?